Hey golfers, it's uh, Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter and Golf Professional, uh, based here today at the Minnetonka um, Second Swing location. Um, today I'm going to talk about putting drills, what I like to work on inside and outside on, on, the, on the golf course to get my game ready to compete. Um, putting for me is really, really important. I talked about last week about my wedge game being very, very important to make sure I get close to the hole. But once I'm now close to the hole after hitting such a great wedge shot, I got to make sure I capitalize on those great shots. I got to make sure that I hold more putts, keep my putting average down, and uh, really just make sure that you know my my putting game never um, never falters. So first thing I want to just kind of let you guys know, hey, we're we're still you know still open online for um, for sales at SecondSwing.com. So we're, we're still selling a lot of golf clubs online at secondswing.com. I know we've got some good deals going, and I know you may even to find yourself some good deals on our eBay site as well. So just want to remind you guys that Second Swing is still operational, even though our stores are currently closed during the uh, coronavirus uh, situation. So just want to give you guys a quick little tour here of the, uh, the putting green at the Second Swing Minnetonka location as you can see as I'm kind of walking around behind me there is a lot of a lot of putters around the edge of the green here um, these are all listed online at secondswing.com and then we also have our vault area here if you're going to kind of walk behind me here notice all these putters lined up all along the all along the line here so we've got a lot of putters got a lot of golf clubs uh, on secondswing.com right now for for sale, but let's kind of get started on putting and what kind of drills that I really like to use when I'm trying to improve my putting game or kind of keep my putting game really, really sharp. So the first putting tool that I absolutely stand by 100% and tell you, hey, you should use this this putting tool is the putting stick. It's actually a locally owned company. Uh, they're based out of Waconia. Uh, I know the uh, the owner of the company really well and I've used this putting stick for about for four or five years now to sharpen my game. It's a great tool to use inside um, and outside. Um, so the putting stick essentially it is this, this little green stick right here. Um, there's two versions. Um, the first version I've got right here, notice how there is a mirror on this side over here. Um, that helps me to check out my ball position and see how my eyes are directly over the golf ball. Um, the goal with this putting stick is pretty simple. All you got to do is putt that golf ball along that stick and not have it fall off either side. Now, if it falls off one side or the other side, it's pretty obvious that you know, hey, you've missed that putt to it in a certain direction. So, it's one of my favorite tools to use. Um, I use this. I can even use, use just kind of like a simple yardstick as well. I love this because it's even more challenging than your typical yardstick. So when I'm putting using this, this uh, tool, what I typically do is I, if I'm outside or inside if I've got a target, is I will place the putting stick right at the edge of the hole. And then I'm trying to make sure that I'm holding as many putts using this as I can. So my goal usually to start off the day is to make five putts in a row along this putting stick. May see seem pretty easy. It's it's not very easy at all. So I'm going to show you how I do this. And bear bear in mind, it's been a couple of weeks since I've done any putting or anything like this. Um, all my goal is to use it when I'm using this putting stick is to make sure my eye position is directly over the ball. So I'm using this mirror that's on this putting stick here. Make sure I'm lined up, and then from there, all I'm doing is I'm kind of roll this golf ball down this down the stick. First time's a charm. It's actually easy, it's actually a lot harder than, harder than you think. Um, my record, I'm at 17 in a row as my, as my record. Um, usually make sure I try and get myself to five or 10 before I start. Oh, so I pulled that one. So that one I know that my club face was closed uh, coming through. So I love this putting stick. Um, if you are intimidated by this putting stick, you know, what I recommend is maybe start at a shorter distance first. So you could start from a foot away and then just trying to get the general idea of, hey, I want to put this ball down that stick, get, get comfortable from short range, 
And then you can slowly kind of move, move your way back down, down the step to make sure you build yourself a little bit of confidence. Same goal. Just put it down that step. So that's the, that's the putting sticks, one of my favorite tools to use. Um, has anyone got any questions about the putting stick? I know we do sell them at Second Swing. Um, I believe they're 79 or 89, depending on the version. Um, great, great putting tool. I recommend, highly recommend if you're looking for a gift or just something to really improve your putting game. Um, that's what I recommend is the putting stick. Um, company based out of uh, Waconia called TPK, TPK Golf. Really, really good putting tool. So it's my favorite, favorite tool to use when I'm putting inside and outside. It's a good one to use in the winter time, especially in Minnesota, or if you're stuck inside like a lot of us are right now, um, that's the putting stick. So a couple other things I also like to do when I'm, when I'm kind of putting on the, on the golf course is work on speed drills. So this is gonna be a little bit harder to do inside unless you have uh, yourself a, a putting green inside, but I think this is very important to kind of touch on is, is, is speed drills. So what I've got set up here, if you can kind of see behind me here, I've got some tees that are lined up. They're all about a yard apart. So I got, one, they're all so basically three feet, six feet, nine feet, 12 feet, 15, 18, going on. Usually what I like to do is I like to place about 10 of them in a row. And my goal is to make it in the hole first off. That's usually the first goal. But if I don't make it in the hole, I want to make sure at least I get that golf ball past the hole. So I want to make sure I give it a good chance to get in the hole. What I also have right here is a little alignment stick that I've kind of placed about just over a foot past the hole, about 18 inches past. My goal is if I miss the putt and if I don't make, if I don't make the putt, I still want to make sure that that ball gets between the hole and the stick. That essentially means you put a good speed on the hole. That way, if I do that, then I can advance down to the, uh, the next level. So just to give you a general idea, what I would start with is start from the shortest distance. OK, so I made that one. So now I can move on to the second one. Oh, it didn't quite stop in time. So in this example right here, I would have to start over completely again. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a challenge. Oh, well that one, uh, <laughs> interesting. Like I said, I haven't done a lot of putting recently as of uh, the last couple of weeks, but that one would have got past the hole. There we go. So that's the second one. Stop. Okay, so that one I passed. So as you can see, I would go all the way down to usually to about 10, 10 steps all the way down, and that's what one of my of speed drills I like to do. It's important to try and make a ball in the hole, but if you don't make it in the hole, you want to make sure you have a good speed on the greens there. So that's one of my other kind of favorite drills that I like to use as, as part of my preparations for a lot of tournaments that I play in. So that's a great, great option to improve my putting speed. The third drill that I kind of like to use is the clock drill. So if you take a look right behind me, you can see how there's a golf hole right here with some golf balls kind of circled all, there, all the way around the hole. They are about about one putter length. Now, because I'm using an arm lock putter, putter's a little bit longer, so it's a little bit further than three feet away. Um, but usually I'd recommend starting with one putter length or about three feet away. Try and make 10 in a row. Try and make 10 in a row from that short distance. And then once you've done that, maybe start working back a little bit. I usually like to try and go from three feet away, make 10 in a row, and then kind of work my way back to a little bit longer. Maybe go four feet away, five feet away, um, and try and make as many putts as in a row as I can with, with a clock drill. So the important thing about this one is you're not putting from the same location every single time. So you actually have different breaking putts. Um, so if you have a putt for a, that's left to right, right to left, you're training yourself to learn how to read putts as opposed to hitting a straight putt that's every single time going in the hole. So let's take a look at this uh, putting drill here. 
So this is the, the clock drill. So my goal here is to make as many as a row as I can. Okay, so that's one. That one wasn't so good. So now because I've missed here, I'm going to go back to the start and start completely over again. So goal is to make 10 in a row um, putting around the clock. So, as you can see there, that's the goal there is to make as many putts as you can. Uh, don't have any comments yet here. Does anyone have any questions about any of these drills that I've kind of talked about yet at all? Does anyone got any questions about uh, my putting method? I've been using uh, what's called an arm lock method here for about one year, exactly about one year actually I started in April last year. I literally picked this putter up um, when I was putting around on the putting green at work here and I fell in love with it. Essentially I never thought I would use an arm lock putter before um, but it's really really simple. Um, it's honestly feels like it's cheating and my wife will always laugh. She'll always say that's kind of like a cheater putter. I mean it's not cheating because technically you're allowed to have it you know down to this line right here but it's just so so simple. It's really, really easy to make sure that I get my uh, self kind of locked in here, and then I'm just kind of rocking at my shoulders, and once I've got myself kind of lined up, that's what I found with the, uh, the arm lock putter. So. Um, so i got a question here. Have you tried the claw grip and your view on it? Um, I have played around with the claw grip a little bit, kind of playing around with it on with an arm lock version. I haven't really tried it on a, on a normal version here. Um, but I haven't done too much with it with the claw. I, I have usually when I find something I really like, I usually try not to switch too much. I'm not really too much of a tinkerer. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, whatever's going to build the player's confidence the most is what I'd say. So there's multiple different types of, uh, of grips and techniques out there, different putter styles as well. Um, so that's, you know, that's my, I haven't really tried the claw, it's probably one of the only grips I have really tried. I've done cross-handed, I've done standard, done arm lock now. Um, I tried a belly putter when they were legal for about two days during uh, Q school. That was a bad idea, luckily I got through that, that, year, that stage. Um, but, uh, you know, golfers are definitely mental. Um, we we're just trying to find something that really kind of works for us. Um, so that's, you know, what I'd say is try whatever feels the most comfortable to you and feels like it gives you the most confidence on the green. Okay, so I got another question. Thanks for the questions, by the way. Um, Robert, so if we're in the market for a putter but not, not able to shop in person at the, at the moment, how would you recommend shopping one? Uh, shopping for one. It's actually a very good question. So. What I can tell you is uh, second swing, we have a support team um, that you can call. I can actually find that phone number for you kind of right here. So we can, we can do fittings over the phone essentially. Now, a lot of people, you know, they may uh, tell you that, you know, a lot of times they want to trial and error clubs a little bit too. That's one other advantage we have for second swing as well. And right now with our, um, current situation, any used putters that we do, we have a play guarantee all the way to August 1st. So it gives you the chance to kind of play it outside and try it out outside. Um, so phone number is 612-216-4152. Um, we have you know, a lot of good, good fitters that you can talk to over, over the phone to help you kind of decide on, on, your, on your putter. Um, but that's a good question. Um, we're hopefully going to be going to open up here in the kind of the next 30 days, but who knows with the given you know, situation that we're under here. Um, I would I would highly recommend give us a call and we can definitely kind of help you fit over over the over the phone. Um, 
we will talk about your tendencies. We'll ask you whether you feel like you have a uh, slower or a faster tempo. We want to talk about your eye position on the ball. So a lot of model putter, a lot of people will putt with putters that are too long for them. So the standard length is 35 inches for putters. But what I usually notice is a lot of people will have their eye position kind of way too far inside. Um, so it's important to make sure you get the right length, the right lie, and right loft on the putter as well. Um, so I would pay attention to whether you have speed control issues as well. So if you do, maybe you could try a little lighter, a little heavier putter. Um, I'd say the advantage is uh, for sure um, secondswing.com, anything you purchase on there, you've got to August 1st that is, that is used. And I believe we have just a 20% restocking fee on anything that's new. Um, but going all the way to August 1st, it's a pretty pretty good good deal to at least to try some putters out. Essentially, you would have store credit to go towards something else. So if the putter does, doesn't work out for you, um, that's what I re would recommend. But highly recommend when we are open to come in and get a putter fitting. Um, a lot of people overlook the putter fitting, and it's very, very important to make sure we get fit for the right kind of putter. Um, going back wherever I, what I was talking about with regards to the um, arm lock putter. So I was talking about how I switched to an arm lock putter um, about one year ago. So I try, I first picked it up and I first picked it up and kind of putted, felt like I was trying to putt kind of normal here within this position here. Felt pretty comfortable, but then I kind of went back to a cross-handed version. The idea with the arm lock putter is I'm just kind of locked right in here against, against my, my arm. I can putt just as well kind of one-handed because I feel like I just need to rock my shoulders. But the other hand just kind of goes to the right. Um, if you are having, you know, not saying that I was having putting issues or anything, I am quite the perfectionist, which definitely is, um, give me a, ch a little bit of a challenge there at, at times. But, you know, it's important to try and get yourself in a good, confident position, um, ready to hit that putt. And then from there, all I feel like I gotta do is rock the shoulder. So one putter to kind of consider there, I know it's, it's unique. Um, there's a few guys on tour that have had a lot of success with it. Matt, Matt Kuchar kind of brought it uh, to the market here a few years ago, and a lot of guys are kind of following, following through. Um, so, so the putter I've been using for a year now, love it. Uh, another question here or possibly uh, a comment. Um, Steven, everyone keeps demanding a video from Tyler Fitzel. Tyler's a great fitter of ours. I'll, uh, I'll have to uh, mention that to him and maybe he can kind of get something you know, sent through here. Um, yeah, so for sure, I'll, I'll have to let Tyler know that, that we're looking for some, some video content from, from him as, as well. So, Do we have any other questions with regards to drills, putting drills. Um, there is actually one other thing I was going to talk about as well. I'll bring you over here again. So this guy right here, so this is called the Drain M Golf. So it's a pretty simple kind of tool. The idea behind that is to try and get yourself kind of lined up straight. So if you're going to look right here, I have this thing kind of drain line straight up basically towards the hole. Now this thing, it does move. There's, you know, there's some T marks. There's some holes in the, in the ground here um, with this machine, with this that kind of can put the bolt that in, in the ground. Um, but this guy here is another tool that I like to use from about four feet away. I like to line myself up straight at the hole. Um, and then from there, I want to try and make you know, maybe six or seven in a row there, just kind of have myself lined up. So using that tool is another another quick and simple training aid that I like to use here. So the Drain M Golf, essentially, it's designed as an M. Um, it's got a couple arrows pointing towards the hole. It's got a little notch to help you get your, your color kind of lined up right in the middle. And all you got to do is kind of try and make as many pots using that, that drill there as well. Um, I didn't touch on one other thing that I also have played around with for the last year as well. Now, 
whether it's the golf ball or whether it's the putter, I don't know. But uh, one ball that I found a lot of success with in the uh, last year was this triple track golf ball. So this is on the Callaway Chrome Soft, Chrome Soft X golf ball that I've been using. Really easy to line the ball up, get the thing lined up straight. Um, now, there's a lot, been a lot of, you know, maybe complaints or concern about pace of play with people trying to line that thing up a lot. What I recommend is using it, at least giving it a chance or even putting a line on your golf ball to use to help you line yourself up a little bit easier. Um, you're going to save time by making more putts, that's what I'm saying. So a lot of people say hey, it's going to be a longer round. It's not because you're actually going to make more putts. So I've used this guy here also for about a year as well. Um, Callaway Chrome Soft X Golf Ball. Recommend. It's got the triple track lines on it. Um, really, really good training training tool that I like to use as well. And it's just good common sense to help get yourself lined up straight. And it's a good way to kind of you know, pay attention to your to your alignment there. Um, uh, so do we have any question, other questions here that I missed at all? Can't see anything. Well, thank you so much for joining here today. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Second Swing is still open online, so secondswing.com. We've got a lot of golf clubs online. Um, we're very busy over here um, getting a lot of the clubs that are sh shipped out to customers from purchasing clubs online. Hopefully, um, we are able to open by the end of this month. We'll see kind of what happens here with the um, governor's guidelines, but I really hope that uh, golf courses will open up really, really soon here. Um, but everyone stay safe, look after yourselves, um, keep your social distancing, and uh, check back here again. There'll be probably a next Wednesday at 3 o'clock. I think the goal is to do another Facebook Live. It may be another fitter. Um, we'll kind of keep, keep an eye on that. So thanks for stopping in. Thanks.